this guide. David and I will be working on building a working prototype of this app throughout this episode. And this is what I like on a plane when it's water friendly and you can just put your camera there. Thank you. Uh, I'm good, I still have some. Thank you. I'm about to start working with David, who is a German iOS developer and student. But before I actually get started, I want to make sure we sign some kind of contract that ensures that all the intellectual property that he creates actually belongs to me. Personally, I hate dealing with contracts, with lawyers, because it's really soul sucking. I prefer just trusting people. However, if you want to build a startup, trust alone is not enough. And even if you personally fully trust someone, your investors won't. And if you leave any door open to any kind of legal disputes, it may result in them not investing. If I don't do that, imagine if I'm trying to raise a $50 million Series B, and then in the end, the investor backs out thinking that I haven't made sure that all the loops are closed. There are kind of two ways to go about this. The more comfortable way would be to just hire a lawyer to have it drafted, and then I can be sure that everything is perfect. But it's super expensive. A startup partner in the US costs between $1,000 and $1,500 per hour. So this is ridiculously expensive. At this stage, just not appropriate. The obvious alternative to that is to just do it myself. Now that is a bit risky because I'm not a lawyer. So there's a high likelihood that I'm gonna make some mistakes, but at least it's for free and it's very fast. 